Walmart and they didn't have any cute notebooks. Where did you get those notebooks? Where? I want to know. These are from Walmart. No, 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 no. I was just there literally two minutes ago. They had none of those. None of them. Well, I kind of spiced them up a little bit. I mean, they used to be really ugly and disgusting, which is probably what you're gonna buy, right? Well, how can I make them like that? I'm waiting, you should tell me. Okay, so basically what you do is you go on your YouTube app, you press the search button. Actually, can I just see your phone? My phone. This, my phone. Fine. Best do this for me. Okay, so here's the YouTube. Gonna search it up. Here it is. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute notebooks for back to school and I hope that you guys will enjoy it. Um, if you do give it a thumbs up and also if you guys want my little brother to make his own channel, let me know in the comments down below and if he does make one, I will link it in my description box. Thanks car for walking by, yeah, no problems. So for all these DIYs, you're going to be needing some pictures online. So I just googled these images, I got some emoji pictures, I will link all of them in the description box and then I just picked out some pictures for my other notebook that has just pictures on it and then for my flower notebook I also got some flowers and I also printed out the Adidas logo. Since my notebook was black I decided to print it out on a black background so that I can see it better. So let's start out with this emoji notebook, I think it's so cute. And it's so easy, so all you need is Mod Podge and a glue stick. So I started out by painting my notebook white, but I didn't want to show you guys that because it's pretty self-explanatory. So if you have a different colored notebook, you can just paint it white and wait for it to dry. And then I lined up my emojis and I glued them with just some normal school glue. Next I applied some Mod Podge, which just dries clearly and it gives your book a little bit of um, a glossy finish. And it also prevents it from getting scratched and peeled and stuff like that. So once that dried, it was so cute and I love it so much. So now for this picture notebook, all you need are your favorite pictures from online. And then I just took a glue stick, glued them on again, and then I also put some Mod Podge on top. For the flower notebook, this one is a little more complex. I just used this pink plastic canvas that I got at Michael's and so I just cut it out. It was so simple to cut out because it's already like lined and stuff. So I just put that in the center and then I took my pictures that I printed out from online which are just flowers and I also put a chalk label in the middle so you can write whatever subject you have on there. So I just glued that on. So I just glued everything on with a glue stick and once again applied some Mod Podge. This one is personally my favorite one. I don't know why, but I love it so much. So I have this um, red notebook that I painted black, and then I printed out the Adidas logo, and then I just kind of put the pieces together and glued it down. After that, I just put Mod Podge on the actual um, white paper because I didn't want to get any paint on that paper, and if it did get on there, it would be a glossy surface, and so it would not stick for too long, so I can wipe it off. So all I did was take the back of a pencil, so the eraser on there, and I just made some circles. You could also like do this on the other end of the pencil. I don't know why I used the eraser, but I, I don't know. <laughs> so those are all my notebooks. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun making all of these, and I'll talk to you guys soon.